doing? What are you doing? I'm making a denim strap for the video. I'm making a denim strap for a video. What's up guys, welcome back to The Home Slice. Today we have a follow-up episode, another episode about the uses of denim fabric as a stropping agent for knives and a polishing agent, as well as wooden blocks, and both of those loaded with Mother's Mag automotive polish. 
Now I talked a little bit in the last one about how automotive polishes like these, they won't be like your normal sharpening compounds that you have the particles of different sizes in them. But if you use them with something with texture in it, then some of those larger particles sort of nest down in the fabric or in the pores of the grain of the wood. And it has a sort of self-leveling effect and they can be quite good at stripping off the burr from your knife edge in some applications. Today we're gonna build a hanging denim strop. Now you could cut a piece of denim and like put two pieces of wood on it and put some screws or nails through it to hold that. But one particular feature that you need is you need a top that is able to swivel. So I've just done paracord looped through these. I know this is kind of ghetto actually, but you need to be able to hang it from this top one and that needs to be able to swing kind of freely so the knife can guide that around. And if this is on a single point, then it can do that fairly well. And then you need something to be able to hold on to. We're gonna load enough of this polish into it to where you can still kind of see the jean texture. You don't wanna use it after it's dried. You don't wanna double coat it. You just wanna, it's kind of a disposable one-time thing. You can use one side and then the other side. But once it's dry, it essentially needs to be replaced. I recommend that if you try this, then get a batch of three or four knives that are all ready to be sharpened and get them ready to go and then make one of these, use one side of it or one portion of it and then strop them all at once. You can see I've got this now loaded up with a generous amount of mother's mag. And once you've done everything, you just wanna hook up your, your swivel and then hook it on some surface train to get a surface where you can see it well. So this edge, even though it didn't test ultra, ultra well, it's um, quite keen on this backer. Like it's push cutting without a problem at all. In fact, I'm really, really hoping that the stropping we're about to do will actually produce a Bess, uh, an edge that tests under 100 Bess because if it does, then I can use it for my next chopping test where I really need to test an edge that is under 100 best. It uh, quite easily slices the paper towel. If I grab two sides, it would just laser through it pretty well, I would think. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think that it will push cut paper towel. Yeah, definitely not, definitely not with one stabilized on one side. Not push cutting paper towel. So to use the strop, you obviously want to grab the clasp that you have at the bottom. You want to hold it somewhere around the middle and allow it a little bit of swivel. So you let the knife sort of guide the direction that the strop is. You aren't really, so far as I understand it, trying to reproduce the angle that you had against the stone with this. You actually can, on most blades, lay the blade a little bit flatter than what it was on the stone, but then actually allow the, the strop to curve a little bit so that it gently curves past. The purpose actually of a hanging strop is for steels that are known as positive burr steels. So steels that form a burr more easily and it's harder to get rid of a burr on because rather than shearing the burr directly off, they, they mold and form and form another burr. And so the purpose of a hanging strop, those are steels like conventional steels 420HC, Sandvik, uh, low carbon stainless steels, 1095, steels with low amounts of alloy and relatively lowish amounts of, of carbon. Most of your above 1% steels will start to leave this zone and turn to the more negative burr steels. And those ones you actually want to strop on a flat strop because the burr will strip off at the sharpening angle rather than needing to micro convex it quite so much. So. Enough talk, let's get this gently set in there. Oh, it's worth noting that I curled the, I sewed it curled around on this side because I'm right-handed. And if you don't do that, then it sometimes can fray a little bit on the side and become ineffective. So I'm gonna do 30 passes with this and then we'll best test it again to see if it's better than the original number, which I believe was 256.
I'm gonna guess this 1095 is pretty well hardened, but I'm gonna give it probably 30, like 30 strokes on each side. It can be useful for deburring at times to sometimes come from nose to heel on the blade and then sometimes switch from heel to nose. Differing directions sometimes will strip off your burr a bit more effectively. So I'll just finish up these 30. I've done 15, uh, probably 17, 18 at this point. I'll finish that up and then we'll best test it. Okay, let's do a little best test here. We're shooting for less than 256, which it was originally. All right, so that is 150. Not the sub 100 best that I was hoping for, but not a bad edge by any stretch of the imagination. So I'll have to keep searching for that sub 100 best edge, but 150 is pretty screaming sharp, guys. Like I am push cutting, like I'm push cutting bits of paper. Do you see that? <laughs> and that, uh, let's see, hard to see my transparent hairs, but can you see them flying off there? <laughs> Don't know if that was visible, but it's pretty impressive. Um, paper towel. I don't have any like flat edge left. Maybe that side will be better. Um, it's, I need a new paper towel. I don't have any flat edge to start. It's quite hard to start on these ripped up edges, but if I just hold it on both sides, you'll be able to see that it's still certainly paper towel slicing sharp, maybe even push cutting. Tiny little bit of push cutting there. Tiny, hey, that's that's cut, that's not ripped. So just on the edge of push cutting paper towel, kind of sharp. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope that you make some screaming sharp, awesome edges with your fancy schmancy denim strop. And you guys have a great day. Take care. Peace out from the home slice.